Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Forgotten Friends Friday. Um, I am looking at some of my fabric scraps today. Um, I want to talk about ruffles. I also am hoping to make some um, fabric flips. So we will just chat about that in a moment. But for now, let's say hi and hugs to Carrie, Pat, Jamie, and PJ. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, let's see. All right, let's start with the ruffles. Because I, I have lots of scraps kind of everywhere at this moment in time. So I'm going to scooch that over. Okay. Okay, I think we have room to maneuver here. So the other day I had some time and I just was making ruffles, ruffles, ruffles. So kind of wanted to show you how I make a ruffle. And um, I did everything from like little scraps to... A whole just I think this is probably about you know the 44 inches or whatever the um, the width of the fabric is so anyway um, I did a whole bunch I wanted to talk about width because you know a lot of different Etsy sell these um, strips of fabrics lots lots of different Etsy sell those um, I prefer mine to be about an inch and a half. I think this one, yeah, this is about an inch and a quarter, but an inch and a half. I think this one's an inch and a half. Yes. And they're absolutely perfect for the side of a page. I feel like, oh gosh, I have to check the, okay, so 25. Sorry, I didn't look at my clock. Okay, now I won't have you for an hour and a half or whatever <laughs> yeah so these you know just fit on the edge of a page so nicely at an inch and a half if it's much bigger than that i feel like it's it's too much um this one this one is about an inch and three quarters and that's about as wide as i personally would want to go just just to give you a bit of a guideline on, on that. So anyway, I was real happy with myself that I got all these done. And so I wanted to talk about width and then I wanted to do one. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see, but I thought I would try and show you. So, Get the good old sewing machine out and um i like to zigzag uh the other thing that's kind of fun is like i have a leaf stitch that's fun down the center of a ruffle i'm gonna cut off the the salvage here um but what i wanted to kind of show you and i will i will sew this one but um, I don't think you'll be able to see underneath. But when I put down, okay, we've got it on zigzag. I just, I just put it under the needle and then I'm gonna try and show you this if, if it's gonna show. I just push it up under the foot like so. I hope you can see that. So I just fold it almost it's almost like a fold so and then i just feed it through so really it's fairly quick it's fairly quick to do and um the reason i like folding it under rather than sewing down the middle for instance and pulling one of the threads to ruffle it is because this is flatter so if you're using it on the edge of your journal, flatter is important. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll get this one done and then I'll show you up close and I think it will make sense. 
And you can see I'm stopping, I'm folding it under the foot. I, I leave my needle down in the previous fold, if that makes sense. And then just keep going right down the middle until your fabric is gone. And so, honestly, you know, I mean, you could make your you could make your ruffles match your cover if you did a fabric cover and um, and just save a strip of the material to make the ruffles. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that. Um, when I'm sewing these, I don't backstitch at the front and the back because I'm going to cut these off, you know, the length of the page. And there's no need to worry about your thread coming undone because you're going to use like Fabri-Tac to put it on your page. And so that's going to, that's going to hold the stitching. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> It makes sense to me, but well, it remains to be seen if it's a good explanation. So, um, yeah, and uh, I will apologize at this point because um, I had some folks that on my correspondence journal, they wanted to see me sew in the pockets and... Typically, I have not sewn on camera because the sound annoys enough people that I've gotten a lot of comments about that and frankly don't want to deal with it. So I don't sew on camera hardly at all. But I really wanted to show you these and I thought it might be helpful for me just to to do one I actually that day I did all those it was so fun it was like totally zen you know just it's like about four stitches folded under about four stitches folded under and it really you get a rhythm and it's just kind of a zen little exercise to do okay so um I'm going to put the sewing machine aside because I don't know that we'll do any more. Maybe we will. But okay, so there's our little ruffle from that piece that I had left over. Now, if I put this up to the camera, hopefully you can see. So I started here. I folded it over. I My needle ended right there. Meanwhile, this is at the beginning of the foot and I just folded it under, sewed up and put the needle in that, folded this under. And that's that's just the kind of rhythm that you get into. And like I say, they are a lot flatter than if you were to just do a straight stitch, pull one of the strings and make it ruffle up that way. So hopefully that's hopefully that's helpful. Okay, well, this kid has a lot, a lot of scraps, and I just haven't done anything with them for a long time. And then I got some more at my last retreat. Aren't these gorgeous? These are flannels, and they're gorgeous, and they're five and a half, so they're about the right width. That one's nearly six. I might have to cut a little off at that one or cut it in half or something. These ones that are the right width though, I'm gonna use those as bases. And we're just gonna, we're gonna make some fall ones just because that's the fabric that I have. These are little, these are bear paws. They're so cute. Yeah, so everything else is, is smaller. One of the gals at the February retreat, she was making a fall journal. And so I think I'm going to cut that in half. So I think I have other fall bits and bits in here. I, goodness sakes, I have so many scraps. I should probably go through them again and, and see if there's any. Now that's a bit longer, but I don't mind that. I think that's kind of cool. So I'm just going to put these together in a way that is pleasing to myself. 
and we'll go from there. What about, I've got these. Wouldn't that be kind of pretty on there? I'm gonna cut off the salvage right here. These are little edges from one of my quilter friends. So if you have quilter friends, um, I'm just saying, their scraps are awesome. <laughs> And, and and you need to stay friends with them. <laughs> so they'll give you their scraps. Okay. Um, oh, man. I got, got a lot there. Are those all? Gosh, I think these are all quilty scraps. Let me just look at that stash. Goodness me. Um. I'm just looking for ones that might might go here. And that's kind of cool. That's almost Christmassy, isn't it? That's okay. Christmas is coming yet again, just like it does every year. This is a cool one. Ooh, that's kind of neat on that. It needs something in in the middle, but I just wanted to see. Okay, so see what else we have in our little scrappage scrappage pile. Hmm. You know what I'd like under there is like a little bit of like something like this maybe let's set you over there this is Tim Holtz fabric but that might be nice under there I'm gonna try that <laughs> it always freaks out my quilter friends when I tear fabric it's like but it then it's straight <laughs> they're like if you use a ruler it's straight too I know but that's way too much trouble okay I know I don't know why they put up with me either let's see I think like right about there would be good Oops, I hit ya. I apologize. Did I make you all go off kilter? Try and <laughs> make you quit bouncing. Okay, so like this one I think would be kind of fun under under there. Let's see. Irregardless, some of the some of the text is gonna be upside down. It's just how it is. So do I like that better or do I like, I think I like that better. Okay, then that just needs something across the top and that'll be good. Here's another base. See, as you go, you end up, you end up making more. <laughs> this is so pretty, I love that. I don't know if I want it to be the base though, because most of it will be covered up. Maybe do a, oh, okay. I'm ditching you. You're pretty, but I'm ditching you because I'm thinking, I think I might like, should probably have my sewing scissors, shouldn't I? But I don't at the moment. So I'm just gonna go So a lot of you guys have probably done these before, but I think I thought there was enough new people to warrant. Oh, I should talk about what do you do with these? Because <laughs> I have gotten that question. Yeah, it's pretty, but what do you do with it? So we're going to put this on a page, ultimately, and 
it will flip up and you can write underneath of it. And, oh yeah, that's nice. So, put this on a page. Ooh, that might be, I'm glad I did that because I think I'm gonna, gonna cut that down a bit. And, um, and then you'll like glue it at the top. It'll be sewn eventually. Then you'll glue it at the top and flip it up and you can write your secrets and you can flip it down and no one will know they're there. So let's put that one over there. But we are going to take approximately an inch off of that. That's going to be just too wide. So let's cut that off. And you know what? If it's not totally straight that doesn't bother me I don't care okay so now now isn't that pretty oh all right so that one's ready for something this one needs to be cut down too so, I mean, yeah, right about there. The little bear paws. I wonder if the bears are starting to wake up. It hasn't here, it hasn't gotten that warm though for them to go, oh, it's spring. Mm, not so much. Yeah, that'll fit better there. Okay, so there's that one. Again, this needs to be thinner. So, so about four, four and a quarter is, is good on a six inch page. Ooh, I should think about tall and skinny too. The tall and skinny journals, shouldn't I? Okay, there's that one. Was this on there? No. No. Oh, this was on there. Okay. We're still good there. All right. And then this one, I need to cut it down too. But I'm happy to be using these. I was telling them to give their, and I gave some of their scraps to um, Sandra, my friend Sandra, who's just kind of getting into journal making. And she's also, I guess she's done a little bit of quilting before, but she's kind of getting back into that too. Go figure, she moves by me and she starts getting crafty. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so those four are good, except that I want something at the top. So let me grab this one from, from Hobby Lobby. Oh, jeez. My sleeves keep catching things. Um, is always good at the top of just, you know, to kind of finish it off. So that's nice. I also have up here some things. This is from... Kathy Holden fabric, I think. Oops. Doesn't go with this. I wonder if this one would go on this kind of neat. Yeah, it does. Feel like I'm all thumbs today. Okay. So that's gonna go on that. So that will be that will be a finished one. It could have a little lace down there, but 
I think it's fine as is. So we're going to call that one done. I will run a stitch though down like on this one. I'll go right down the center here, but we're going to call that one done. And this one kind of thinking what if okay, I want that to be square up to the top now what if we took this went over that way is there one that we should go down the middle oh that's so pretty I just want it to show so I think I'll cut that and and then I was thinking of putting that there. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, it's done. Done and done. This one, what would we like to do with you? Got the, got another red. Hmm, kind of like that. about this one hmm well it's okay I don't know I really do like these across the top I think I'm gonna put that okay so there's those we used up those little pieces they haven't been forgotten as long as the rest of it but okay so let's then I have over here have a bunch of of Kathy Holden scraps I don't even know exactly what is here so that was a flip on that could be a flip. Oh, there's a little piece. This could be part of a flip. And these, I think these are too wide. Yeah. Those I was going to make like cloth journal cards out of or something. Oh, we could sew those around on a piece of cardstock. That could work. Anyway, this one, this one could be, if we cut it down a little, that could be a fabric flip. Okay. And then I've got more scraps in this bag. These are from a variety of Kathy Holden fabric collections. Flea Market Mix, Flea Market Moxie, um... I didn't grab any of her new one, the, the junk journal one, but I don't even know what's in here. There's a few, few biddies. You know what? Those need to be clusters. That's what those need to be. Um, here's a small little piece, too, that could be a base. Just kind of want to see what I, see what I've got in here. I think these are all good size pieces. That one's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then those are small. Okay, cool. Let's see what we can play with here. I also grabbed some of my Tim Holtz that I think some of it is um, is more scrappy. Gosh, every time I look down, there's another piece of the quilting stuff down there. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we decided these we weren't going to work with today. All right. So let's look at this guy. I really like him with a 
Yeah, it's just too white. Talk amongst yourselves. One sec. Pinking shears at the ready. I think I'm going to just take off this border and see, see how that does. Because then it will be thin enough to fit on a page, I think. And if it isn't, well, then I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that's fun. That'd be fun on the top of a tag, huh? I'm thinking I want to leave the little bit at the top because I don't want to cover up all the pretty design. How big is that? Ooh, it's eight and a half. So I think I'll take off the bottom. Get it right up to the design. Okay. Well, we've got several tag toppers there. Okay, so now that is eight. So it'll go right to the bottom of a page, but that's okay. So we need something to go down the middle here. What do, what do we have that would be pretty? I've got, what's this? Nope, that's not it, not it. Um, I don't need those, I'm gonna set those aside. Um, let's kind of see what else is in here. Well, that's white, I mean that. having some trouble figuring out what might go down the middle of that. That's not horrible. That's the best I found so far. I think I'm going to go pinking shears all the way on this. That could go on a cluster. So, keeping all those little things. And then, like, maybe to there. I don't know. Let's see. That's okay. Um... I was thinking lace, maybe. Uh, I can't grab some. I don't know what I grabbed. <laughs> grab this too. That would be pretty across the top of one. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking that. I'm going to just cut that off. And that's going to go there. And then across the top, I'd almost like something red, but that would work too. Excuse me. <coughs> I have been sneezing all day. Oh, drive me crazy. I mean, that is an unlikely, unlikely thing, but I don't know. I dislike it. Um, so something across the top. Yeah, I, 
think I'm going to go with this. I don't know. There's probably something else, but this is striking me. So let's do it. Okay. So there's that one. Used up that little bit. Okay, so we'll sew, sew down that one. And I just do the chain piecing on these. Um, put them in the machine, sew one, put the next one in, the next one in. It goes pretty quick. Okay, so, well, that was fun. Let's see, let's see what's in here. Are there some that, where the bases are big enough? I feel like they are. Yeah, okay. Just gonna set all that over there. There's that one. There's a blue one. Another blue one with stars. What else we have? Ooh, that's a pretty one. I always think about the the quilts that they <laughs> they've made with these they're so they're so pretty okay those are all really fun I don't think they need a lot I'm kind of thinking just a piece of piece of lace down the center or something I have this lace that would be really pretty yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut, what, five of those that length. And that's what's gonna go on all of those, I think. Oh yeah, they all look good. I want some more of this lace. Where'd they get it? <laughs> that would be the question. Where to come from? Have to. I know I got it on Etsy. I just don't know where. I'm going to need to go hunting, I think. There's four. Yeah, I have not played with my fabric in forever. So this is awesome. All right. Let's see. Got strings attached to me. So, go there. There. It's pretty. Okay, and this one. Do I want it that way? I think I might want it this way so the ruffly edge is, has the darker background. Same with this one. Okay, yes, I do like those. So do I just want to go... I might. I think I do. Okay, there's that one. Simple, but really pretty. Okay. This one. I've got brown thread in my sewing machine, so especially on these, that will look awesome. About going to be out of this roll, but not to worry. I keep a stock of this kind of lace. Okay. That one. 
So look at all the, I mean, we've had, we've made a stack, I mean, at least 10. I don't know what time it is, but oh yeah, we got, we got time. I put my time at 225. It's actually going to be 325. <laughs> oh, but I'm so happy. Oh, these are awesome. Okay. So that was fun. I'll just see what else is in here for a second. A lot of those. Okay. Ooh, there's a pretty one. We didn't do one of those. Maybe we should do one of those. Just round things out. one more in a pretty maroon color so right up the center of the flowers on this one <laughs> okay there's one more alrighty okay moving on I kind of wanted to do something with this this is Tim Holtz but isn't it pretty So pretty, but I feel like if I layer it, it will, it needs to be a top layer. So what about, could we put a little Tim Holtz and a little Kathy Holden together? I don't think either one of them would mind the company. also goes uh, is a good topper let's see I think I think I'm gonna just cut it on the fold here because that's kind of a nice size that is four inches How much is it this way? It's about nine and a half. I was thinking about a tall skinny journal, but I don't know. Don't have one in the works right now. So I think I'm gonna cut this to my usual about seven and a half. you strings let go <laughs> I need to have no sleeves on doing this I think okay I'm wondering about this side because this guy's a little bit thinner mm -hmm. what do you think I might go okay let's go this way first and I'm gonna go at about three ish okay and then I'm gonna go right under this guy's bottom Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can get those off of me. Now let's take this and this. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? 
already used that one. Pretty piece. Um, what would this be like? Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. And then that. Yeah. Okie dokie. So many fun pieces of fabric. I'm glad I decided to play with these today. Oh, there's my laundry yelling at me yet again. <laughs> okay, there's a there's a fun one. I just wanted those butterflies. Okay, so what else? Let's look at the other Timmy fabric because I know I had some scraps over here. I don't know. That's a little one. My friend Diane used some of these. She just gave them back to me at the retreat. She said, do you have any of that Tim Holtz, um, what's it called, abandoned fabric? And I'm like, yep. I do. And she just needed a little bit to finish a project. I'm like, go for it. Okay, these would be fine. Let's let's make a couple out of those. I don't know what else. Maybe some Kathy Holden. Let's see, this would be just about four. So I'm gonna go here. And here. Like that. A couple of good bases there. Okay. So, what do we have over here? I have some bits, bits and bits. Mm, I love this so much. Okay, so we have some more going that way. But I feel like that would be really pretty right there. So I'm going to take off the salvage. Leather and lace and amazing grace, this one. It says so right there. So now I'm thinking of just, yep, I think I'll just go right here. And that'd be pretty right there. I think I can just go right at this line. <laughs> gonna be fighting with strings for a while okay oh I love that okay that's really pretty don't want to cover it up want something there what other lace do I have handy here I have these. That would be fun. Across the top. And this would also be fun. 
goes this way, I think. Yeah. Ooh, let's do that. And then what if we put these little daisies across there? Let's just see what we if we like it. There's no yellow per se in there. But I think that's cute. So that's going to be one. Cute. Okay. Now we have this one. I still have some more of this. So what if we use the other part of it? Don't want to make it exactly the same, but if we have this part like that, it won't be exactly the same. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's it. I don't care if I'm cold. Let me put my sleeves up. Okay, so just going to do that. Okay, so there's that. Put this little lace over here. What would that be like? It's not bad. <laughs> Keep layering. Actually, I really like that. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I need to get the correct side going here. I think I'll just do three. Okay, three of those. Some of this. Oop, about to lose it. This way. And these, four of those. Yay, that one's fun too. Okay. Gosh, you guys, we've got a pile. Now this, this could be like one in, um, uh, like a traveler's notebook, you know? Yeah, that's good. So, just looking to see what I might have. I've got that. And what else? Ooh, that's pretty. Look at this fun piece. Except I'm going to turn it around. I think the edge is better. Okay. Does it need something that's a little darker down here? That's my question. Um... What if that stuck out the bottom to about right there? I'm going to 
going to put that that way in case those numbers can show. Oh, they're not showing. I need to make them show. I could make them show. Whoa. <laughs> Just throwing things, don't mind me. Okay, that's good for a cluster too. Okay, so this is Forgotten Friends Friday, but Scrappy Saturday is coming. I might have to make some of those into scraps. My, my watch is freaking out. I think I hit my move goal. Less than four, so that would still work. Um, what are we going to put across the top? How about this? And just let that top peek out a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to do with that one. So we actually... We actually did have some fun with some forgotten friends today. Let's see. I think I'm going to call it good because we're right at the end of that one and we're right almost at the end of time. Look at this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 17 or 18. I can't quite tell that we got done in this, in this video. So I'm excited. Those will be fun. We'll get those sewn. I'll, I'll, yeah, I don't know if I'll get them sewn before the next video, but I'll try and then I can show you. So did that, did the ruffles feeling happy to have played with my fabrics a little bit. They've been neglected. So thanks everybody so much for crafting with me today. Um, I hope you have a great Saturday, a great weekend, and um, I will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everybody. Bye.